sometimes this election comes at a time where policy making will be most critical uh, to make Philippine, uh, Philippines rather, uh, Nicholas, uh, an attractive investment destination coming out of the pandemic, competing with other ASEAN nations. And so how do you map uh, the trajectory there in terms of uh, policy making economically to help the country become more attractive? Well, the nice thing is, even, even throughout the pandemic, uh, the, the current administration definitely rolled out uh, certain legislation to open up the, the Philippines to more investments. Uh, they, 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 they failed to pass the RCEP. However, in terms of opening up the Philippines to foreign investments, they have uh, made quick strides. Uh, retail trade is now uh, more open for foreigners to come in. Uh, they've also changed some of the terminology to, to allow more FDI. Uh, and this is definitely going to help spur uh, growth in the near term. Um, but I think the, the, the bigger question is uh, how quickly can the Philippines get back to their pre-pandemic form of about 6% growth? Currently, yeah, 5.6%, quite, quite um, uh, robust. However, I think it's going to take some time before the Philippines returns to its uh, pre-pandemic form of 6 to 6.5%. Uh, and with rates going up in the U.S., how vulnerable is the economy uh, to a tightening cycle? Yeah, well, the, the current uh, BSP governor sounds extremely dovish, despite all the uh, tightening that's happening across the globe um, with a projected Fed rate hike. He doesn't, uh, Jokner doesn't sound like he's going to be tightening anytime soon. However, I think by mid-year, um, with growth on a better, I guess, on better footing, uh, and with the rest of the world in a tightening cycle, we might have to consider uh, hiking policy rates by the end of the second quarter or the start of the third quarter, uh, just to ensure that the differentials are maintained and to also protect the currency, which is now coming under um, some some pressure to uh, depreciation pressure because of the uh, um, the very dovish uh, comments from the central bank. Well, what is the the inflation picture there right now? Well, inflation is actually uh, quite subdued. There, there's also a rebasing uh, for CPI inflation, causing a shift in in the overall levels of inflation. So now we're we're looking at inflation at three percent. Uh, not likely threatening that that uh, upper end of the inflation uh, target band of four percent, but I, I think in terms of um, you know uh, decision points, uh, the governor has been uh, you know very vocal about uh, retaining this accommodation, uh, you know, with the end goal of getting GDP back to six percent levels. So I think that's the main decision point, the trigger point for any uh, tightening from the BSP. He hasn't really you know been gauging any of his decisions on inflation per se. But I think it's uh, he, he has sort of championed the uh, pro-growth strategy, and I think he'll carry that through for this year.